I was watching some videos from New York City and these billboards catch my eyes. Some of them are 1600 inches. That's so weird because the biggest TV or monitor available in the markets are only 100 inches. After doing some research, it turns out that they are not regular displays. They are made by a bunch of small LED modules like this one here in my hand. Just like Lego when you have tiny pieces and connect them together to create big stuff. You can connect these LED modules together as many as you want to create LED display as big as you want. So I bought the components and I'm gonna show you how to create your own billboards step by step. Any billboard made by five main components. LED modules, receiving card, power supply, multimedia player, and connecting wires. You have to know some basic information about each of them. There are many different types of LED modules. Some of them are flexible, so you can make curvature in your display. Some of them are waterproof, so you can use them outdoor. But the most important thing is the density of the pixels. They are classified into different types depends on the distance between the two nearby pixels. Bigger number here means less resolution. I'm using 2.5. These LED modules came with strong magnets, so you can mount them easily on the metal surfaces. Receiving card is a driver to drive the LED modules. The voltage of this DC power supply must be 5 volt, but the maximum output current depends on how many LED modules you have. This multimedia player receive your video and save it inside the 16 GB of memory. It has different connection methods such as Wi-Fi, Ethernet, USB, and even Internet. They call it dual mode because it can work synchronous and asynchronous. Asynchronous means that you have a pre-recorded video and you want to display it repeatedly. It's usually used for advertising. But synchronous mode is live stream by using HDMI inputs. It's usually used in the concert and the stadium and show you the video from the camera in real time. Now let's connect these components together. Each LED module need a 5V power supply. You have to connect the input to the receiving card and the output goes to the next LED module. At the beginning, let's use only one single LED module to make it easier to understand. The input of this power supply goes to the mains voltage. I switched on the power supply, but the display show nothing. That's because I didn't connect the multimedia player. By using this push button, I can activate the test mode. Because sometimes these LED modules came with factory defects. Like this pixel here not working. You see here the current draw for white color is more than the other colors. That's because red, green, and blue, they have to work in together to create the white color. And that's so interesting. The maximum current of your power supply must be more than the maximum current of your LED modules. I have 4 LED modules, so I need 12 amps of current. This current is less than the maximum current of my power supply, so it's gonna be fine. Now let's connect the multimedia player. Go to this website and install these two softwares on your laptop. You can find the link below in the description. Select the model of your multimedia player. Then insert the number of pixels in the x-axis and in the y-axis, which is 128 by 64. Now connect the Ethernet cable to the laptop. Click on the hardware setting. The password is 168. Now the second software running automatically. Click on screen configuration. Then receive card parameters. My receiving card has 12 hubs, so I have to select this one. Then click on a smart setting. Insert the number of pixels. The scan rate of my LED module is 1 slash 32. So I have to select more than 16 because 32 is more than 16. Then click on next step. Now you have to check the color of your display. State A, the color must be red. If you get different color, you have to correct it here. State B, green. State C, blue. And state D, black. If they were right, click next step. Now 32 lines have to light up. Next step, only one line lights up. Change these parameters as shown here and click send. 
Select Construct box and click here. Then click Send. Now the display is ready to use. You can add video, photo, text, and so on. Let's add this image here and click Send. So now we can see this image on the display. It could be a video or text or even a clock. When you send a photo, for example, you can disconnect the cable because it's saved inside the memory. And by the way, you don't need the cable. You can use Wi-Fi connection. The password is number 8 8 times. So now you don't need the cable anymore. There is another way to program the display by using USB flash drive. Let's say you have this image and you want to send it, but your laptop for some reason is not connected to the display. You can save it on your USB flash drive by clicking on 2U disk. Now connect the USB flash drive to the multimedia player and wait for a few seconds. When it's done, remove it. By connecting the HDMI cable, you can use the synchronous mode. Remove the cable, return to asynchronous. Now let's add more LED modules in a straight line, just like the display around the stadium. The input of the first LED module connected to the receiving card, the output connected to the input of the second LED module, and so on. You have to follow the same exact steps as before. The only difference is the number of pixels, which is 512 by 64. Now let's connect the modules vertical like this. The first LED module connected to the first hub, the second LED module connected to the second hub, and so on. This time we have 128 pixel by 256 pixel. And finally I'm connecting them like this. 256 pixel in X axis and 128 in Y axis. You can program this display by using your smartphone. Install this app from Play Store. So maybe you're wondering what is the resolution of this display. Is it HD, Full HD, 4K, 8K, what is that? It depends on how many pixel you have. In HD, for example, you need 1280 pixel by 720 pixel. The black color here is really black because there is no backlight, just like OLED display. The power consumption of this LED display was something between 16 watts and 95 watts. Depends on the color of the video and the brightness. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.